Hello Dungeon Master. How many NPCs have you created as a DM? It's a lot, isn't it? Well, this is our second NPC video where we create them so you don't have to. You can just simply take them and put them into your game. For this video, we will be concentrating on NPCs for the bank. I'll put a link in the top right hand corner. You can then take the map, take the NPCs and the encounters that we've created. And then all you have to do is let your players walk through the door. Look at that little present we've given you all wrapped up with a bow. So let's introduce you to the staff at the Burriton Bank. Honora Wood. Honora is the manager of the bank and has been working here for the last seven years. She started as a clerk and has made her way up. She's been the manager for the past five years. She is around five feet seven inches with short black curly hair. With her beautiful dark skin tone and her youthful features, people aren't really sure how old she is. Her high charisma and calming personality helps put people at ease, especially when they're leaving large sums of money in the bank. Her perception and her persuasion can help people decide this is the right bank for them. Honora is the face of the bank. Everyone knows who she is. She is friendly and approachable. No question is too silly. She always seems to have time for everyone. She is a hard worker and tries to remember all of her customers to give them that warm family welcome. How's little Susie doing? Are you feeling better after that cold? Whilst she is friendly, she does have to deal with the frustrated customers. She is the epitome of professional and can get straight to the point if need be. There have been a few people who've tried to bribe her over the years. However, she has remained honest. For her, the bank is her reputation and her legacy. She works hard, proving to herself that she is the right person for the job. Peter, Paul and Phil. Peter, Paul and Phil stand at five foot nine inches. They all have brown shaggy hair that whilst not unkempt, if left for a few days, might start looking that way. They have worked at the Burriton Bank for the past five years. They are brothers that rotate being on shift as security guards at the bank. They are triplets and whilst not identical look very much alike. They could easily be mistaken for each other, not that they would correct people on this. The lads are easy going and laid back. When not working they would either be at the local tavern or just fixing things around the house. Yes, they all live together. Not everyone is made of money, and why have three separate houses when you could share one? They are hard working, and when they have a task, they will carry it out and complete it. They are not the chattiest of people, but are pleasant to talk to when they do. Always happy to help if a neighbour needs a hand. It's a little unnerving, as nothing really stands them out from each other. They all like the same drink. They all dress the same. Even their hair and beards are the same. They are happy with it being that way. They come as a three and I'm sure they will remain that way. Their main hobby is fixing things. This could be houses or items inside it. They are useful people to know. The reason they are good security guards is that they have trained with each other. Trying to fight off two other skilled fighters who are a similar build is a challenge and forces you to get better. Tom Kendon. Tom stands at five foot eleven. He has a dark black beard and is bald on top. His beard is groomed to reveal a furrowed and anguished face. Tom has worked at the bank for the past five years and seen a lot of people come and go in that time. Money is his motivator. Tom has a family that he looks after and works hard to be able to provide for them. Whilst he does enjoy his job, he's always looking forward to home time. He is a quiet person in nature and will often keep himself to himself. When the public come in, he will get on with the requested task quickly and efficiently. He can make bits of small talk, but would never instigate a conversation. Many customers like that, as they can get in and out quickly and not have to stay for a chat. Others might hang back and wait for someone else to serve them instead. Tom is meticulous in his work. His eye for detail is impressive. 
He will often be checking over the books and ledgers to make sure everything tallies up. He is a smart guy and a real whiz with numbers. He likes things neat and organised. Everything on his desk has its own position. Tom wants to treat his family to nice things in life. While they may never own a manor house, he will often stop at the local market after work and picks up a treat, like a small muffin for his little girl and wife. When talking of them or even seeing them, his anguished face becomes soft with happiness. A hardworking individual, but a big heart for his family. Mark Burrows. Mark stands at five foot six. Brown shaggy hair falls halfway across his face. His young good looking features could often mistake him for a male model. He has worked at the bank for over a year now. Mark is a bit of a joker and a lot of a flirt. The older ladies love to come in and chat to him. They might even visit the bank a few more times than they initially planned to. It seems no matter who you are, Mark can always make a connection. The conversation could be about sports, fashion, he just has that easy going way about him. You will often see people letting others go in front of them in line, just so they can be served by Mark instead. This is Mark's first official job. And while he has just about learnt the ropes now, he has that youthful attitude towards the workplace. He might not be as quick or as methodical as Tom, but his ability to talk and keep people talking gives him the time to carry out the requests. Work is just work for him. He doesn't need everything to be perfect and often enjoys those long conversations as it means less to do in the grand scheme of things. You could almost guarantee that Mark won't be at the bank for a long time. He's that cheeky chappy always looking for the greener grass. He has his talents and will eventually spread his wings and leave the bank. He would make a brilliant salesman. Chris Smith. Chris stands at six foot one with long blonde hair. He will often have it tied off his face and on busy days, dare I say it, has it in a man bun. Chris has worked at the bank for over two years now. He enjoys the job and the people he works with. Chris is an easygoing type of person. Whilst not as quiet as Tom, he's not as outgoing as Mark is either. There is so much going on behind his eyes. They are always watching and taking things in. Whilst not always speaking, he is an inquisitive person. I wouldn't play poker against him. Not just because I have no idea of the rules, but I'm sure that his poker face is a good one. He will have a laugh with people, but will always get on with the work that needs doing. When it comes to his work desk, there is no order to it at all. Books and ledgers lay haphazard across the top until the end of the day. There must be some kind of method to the madness. It doesn't look like anything has its own place. Just that the things that are needed are somewhere on his desk. Chris is happy going with the flow. You wouldn't even be able to tell if someone had moved anything. Things seem to work out for Chris. Some might find it infuriating him not having a plan or order to the way he does things. But at the end of the day, it's all completed. I hope you've enjoyed this video and already started thinking about putting the NPCs in your game. Let me know who your favourite character is, maybe any other locations you'd like us to create NPCs for. If you've enjoyed it, please do hit that like button. Make sure you're subscribed so you know when our next video goes live. If you're feeling fruity, then you can support us on Patreon, where you get access to all of our maps and NPC tokens. So until next time, may your dice be ever in your favour.